Ahoy and welcome to my advanced fishing guide for Sea of Thieves. And when I say advanced, I do mean it. If you are looking for some basic fishing tips, this is not the video for you. However, I did already make a beginner's fishing guide in which I do go over the basics. It is one of my earlier videos I made for this channel, but it does still show you how to catch each fish type, which region you should be and what bait you should use. Like I said, it's an early video, but it should still hold up. So if you want, you can check the video out. I will link it below. Or, you know, you can pause the video right now and look at this table. It's really up to you. So onto this guide. What does an advanced fishing guide mean? Well, I'm basically going to show you the best methods I found to get some of the late accommodations you probably still need to clear everything for the hunter's call. Specifically, I am talking about the best way to catch black route wreckers, I'm going to talk about guaranteed spots to catch shadow stormfish, I will tell you at what islands you need to be to catch specific isle hoppers, and as a cherry on top, I will show you the best way to grind for treasures plunder. And unlike other guides, I will try not to waste your time, so let's get started. And let's start with the black cloud wrecker. To catch this fish, you need to fish at a shipwreck using earthworms while also being in a storm. So yeah, I trust you already know how to spot shipwrecks and how to use earthworms and where to find those worms. That just leaves the storm. One way to approach this is to find the shipwreck near a storm and just pray to Joe Neat that he will send that storm your way. I mean, it would be really cool if you could predict the way the storm is going so you would know in advance if it's worth it. Well, you can actually predict the storm. It may seem storms are completely random and like to do whatever they want, but they actually move on a fixed path. This path, however, is incredibly complex and it is not something you can easily memorize. But don't worry, you don't need to. The wonderful people at Merfolk's Lullaby figured this out and made a map depicting the route of the storm. Not only this, but it also shows you when a storm is going to be at a certain location. It shows you this both in game time, but also in real time. So yeah, very, very handy. I will post a link in the description to this map, so make sure you use it. And be sure to check out the rest of their website. They also have a timetable when eclipses happen on the sea, so yeah, really cool stuff. So as soon as you know when and where the storm is going to be, you can judge for yourself if it's worth waiting. Keep in mind, shipwrecks do despawn when there are no ships around. Alternatively, you can use the same map and follow the route of the storm in search of shipwrecks to fish at. So let's move on to catching shadow stormfish. These fish are the rarest of their kind and can be found on any location as long as you are in a storm and fishing with leeches. They have red stripes, but this fish is still hard to make out because you are fishing in stormy waters. In other words, it is a pretty annoying fish to catch. Normally, catching a rare fish is just random and you need to get lucky. There's no way around it, right? Right? Or is there? I mean, yeah, of course there is. I'm, I'm making a video about it. Simply put, while fishing in the storm near the Sea Dog Tavern will result in catching a shadow stormfish. It's kind of like the middle region is the shadow region. Only when it's nighttime, you also have a chance to catch a twilight stormfish. So when I heard this, I thought, surely this, this couldn't be true. But after some testing, I have to admit, it is. There is however one big caveat. Yes, if you see a stormfish, it is a shadow one. But you do need to cycle through an enormous amount of splash tails first. Sometimes you will be fishing for 15 minutes without one biting. So the best tip I can give is get a crew and use the storm app from before to see when a storm is nearing the Sea Dog Tavern. I also heard this happens at the unmarked islands, but I have yet to try that out for myself, so I cannot confirm this from my own experiences. So before we go to the firing method of treacherous plunder, let's quickly go over the different owl hopper locations since some pirates are still a little unclear about this. Unlike other fish, this one isn't region based, but island based. And you don't need to equip bait to catch owl hoppers. To catch a stone owl hopper, you need to be fishing near Cannon Cove, Crook's Hollow, Sharp Bay Cove, Shipwreck Bay or Sailor's Bounty. 
For most oil hoppers, you need to be fishing near Ashen Reaches, Thieves Haven, Marauder's Arch, or is it Marauder's Ark or Arch? I don't know. Please, please let me know in the comments. My English isn't that great. Lone Cove or Wonders Refuge. Honey oil hoppers can be caught near Discovery Ridge, Plunder Valley, Kraken's Fall, the Sunken Grove, or Crescent Isle. Amethyst oil hoppers can only be caught near Devil's Ridge, Smuggler's Bay, Crooked Mast, Old Faithful Isle, Mermaid's Hideaway, and Snake Island. And since this is the nighttime variant, it also needs to be night. And finally, Raven Owl Hoppers can be caught near any large island, but it is a rare catch. Yeah, this pun has been done to death. So let's go to the last commendation most of us probably still need to unlock. And I am of course talking about the treacherous plunder. When fishing without bait, you will have a chance to get stuff like wood and ashen keys. But every once in a while, you will get this treacherous plunder. The annoying part is, for every fish you see, you need to cancel and try again. With the method I'm about to explain, you don't need to do that. You do, however, need to go to a very specific pond. Where is this pond? Well, it's on the shores of gold. At this pond, there is a very specific spot where fish will briefly spawn, but will also quickly disappear. So you don't need to touch the controls at all until you got something on your line. This way you can basically cycle through fish until you get some treacherous plunder. Oh, or, or ashen keys, you will be getting a lot of those as well. So in a way this is also great for farming the balloons. There are however some things you need to keep in mind. First of all, yes, this is the best method I have found to quickly farm treacherous plunder, but it is still going to take some time. So make sure you do this on a galleon. Not only will it go faster, but it is also way more enjoyable than doing it solo. Unless you are listening to the official unofficial Sea of Thieves podcast. No, no really, check, check that shit out, it's, it's really good. Secondly, don't put an emissary up. The last thing you want is a level 5 reaper ship looking at their map and seeing an undefended ship at the shores of gold. So start that tall till, get the Stroud Baker and get your ass to that pond. And as a bonus tip, if you are halfway to Shores of Gold Tall Tale and don't finish it, you can always get the Shroud Baker at any time, at any place, thanks to the checkpoint system. And yes, you can use this to sail into the Red Sea and get away from pursuers. So yeah, totally not exploitable at all. Just keep in mind, if you do this, you are a little b So hopefully these tips will help you get the last of those accommodations. If this video was helpful in any way, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And also, hey, don't forget to subscribe. So, thanks for watching. I hope you will have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video and take care.